For our first gathering, we're reading one of the most famous poems of Samuel Taylor Coleridge, himself one of the most famous of England's romantic poets. He started writing the poem in 1797 and kept editing it until around his death in 1834. The poem offers a symbolic view of nature as larger than human interests and of the danger of objectifying nature. It ends with a reminder of how Coleridge viewed nature as creation related to the divine, not to be trifled with. As you read, think about the symbolism of the albatross and the spirit. How does Coleridge relate them to his Christian views? Does the poem relate to environmental ethics today?